What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I'm going to talk about a story that broke this morning and uh, it's a tragic one out of uh, Columbus, Ohio. Shout out Columbus. And uh, it's about a woman, this woman right here. This woman is no longer with us. Her name is Alexa Stakely. She was 29 years old, had a six-year-old son that she was picking up from the daycare center when somebody decided to jump into her car and take off as she jumped on the hood and tried to stop them. Now, we all see it's a, a big rise in crime and violence out here, and people are taking stuff. I mean, obviously, they shouldn't be taken, but they're doing it at the cost of human life and not caring about it and going on to the next thing you know, in their destructive path, this stuff got to stop. And what's messed up is, you know, a lot of people are going to blame this woman because you're going to see something that's key that was said in this uh, news article. And uh, it's just messed up. Take a look at this and we'll come back and I'll talk about all of the points of this thing that, that makes this thing all the more sad. Take a look. Now at six, a mother is dead after trying to save her son from someone stealing her car. Police say 29-year-old Alexa Stakely's six-year-old son was fast asleep inside the vehicle as someone was trying to carjack it early this morning. Thanks for joining us tonight at six. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. 10 TV first told you that Stakely was critically injured this morning on Wake Up Sea Bus. And just hours ago, the coroner confirmed that she died. Police say Stakely was picking up her six-year-old son from a babysitter in southeast Columbus. She put her sleeping child in her car, left it running, then went back to pick something up from the babysitter. That's when police say at least one person stole the car with the boy inside. Within moments, the mother took matters into her own hands. The female jumped on the hood of the vehicle and began screaming for the vehicle to stop. Her, her parent instincts kicked in to save her child, and the way she was trying to do that was by getting the vehicle to stop by jumping on the hood. And unfortunately, it, it resulted in her sustaining some critical injuries. Police say Stakely fell off the car when the suspect started driving erratically. It happened just off Ginger Road, where neighbors say they're rattled by what happened there. We really don't have any crime here, so it's kind of like it shakes your system a little bit. It's been like all I've been thinking about today, and I'm sure almost all of our neighbors think the same way. It just kind of ruins the trust that we have as neighbors. Officers found the stolen SUV nearby. The six-year-old boy was safe inside and still sleeping. Tonight, no word on potential suspects, but police are asking anyone who might have security video of the incident to contact them. And just within the last hour, we learned that the mother worked at Canal Winchester Schools as a speak, speech language pathologist at Winchester Trail Elementary. They sent us a statement saying in part that they are deeply saddened to hear that this tragic news happened and went on to say, quote, she was a great mom who was incredibly dedicated to her son. Mistakely made a difference in the lives of the students and families she worked with and will be missed by so many in our community and beyond. That's the story of me, uh, Miss Alexi Stakely, rest in peace. Seemed like a good person that made a uh, terrible mistake, leaving a car running. That's the first thing I want to talk about. Guys, at any given time, never think it's sweet out there, no matter if you're in your garage, in your neighborhood or whatever. If you leave your car running with the way auto thefts are now, people are waiting in, in lieu of an opportunity to take your vehicle like they did in this thing. Another thing, the people on here talking, they talking about it was an accident. That was murder. That kidnapper, what, I mean, that guy who went to take that uh, car with a baby in the back seat, six year old sleeping. You can't tell me didn't see her put that kid in the car and before he went to go over there and take the thing. Now, I don't know if this is a young person or not. I'm thinking it's a young person that did this. Why? Because same thing. Stole the car. She grabs on the hood screaming, hey, I'm sure she said my baby was in there, but this person was caught red handed. You got somebody on the hood looking you straight in the face. You driving, swerving the car all erratic until they fly off the car, their vehicle, not fucking yours. And uh, now they're dead. And what do they do? Go around the corner, jump out the car, run away. What was the sense of stealing the car in the first place? So what your main 
uh, thing was to see if you could do it. Then when you got caught to kill the person and then walk off, it's bullshit. We are out here right now with a bunch of people that don't know their ass from a hole in the ground and don't know, know why they do the things they do. You ever come across a grown up and you catch them doing some stupid shit? Hey, man, you know that shit was wrong? Yeah. Why you do it? Man, I don't even know. You start to see it all out here. All out here. It's like nowadays, it's like a generation of people that don't know up from down, but know they just want to uh, move forward in doing dumb shit. Think about that. If they catch the person that did this, and I hope they do catch the motherfucker that did this, I would love to see the explanation. But you were scared. You was in their car. They did all of this stuff only to walk away. They never even took the car. So what was the whole thing mainly about? A mother's dead. And then what's sad about it is the child didn't wake up, y'all. The baby did not wake up doing this whole thing. Him driving like a maniac. Little boy was asleep. So evidently, <clears throat> it happened in the morning from the babysitter. She must work nights or something. Well, no, no, no. She didn't work nights because it said she worked with uh, kids. But I don't know if it was over the weekend or whatever when this happened. But either way, man, you understand what I'm saying? She should still be here. That little boy went to sleep with his mom probably putting him in the car and woke up with no mother. How are you going to explain that to a six-year-old kid? How are you going to make it make sense that you went to go steal somebody's vehicle, they died, and you took the car with the kid in it and then left the kid abandoned? Anything could have happened to that child. Hell, what if you jumped out, per se, of the car and ran off, and it was another asshole like you that jumped in the car and took off with the kid in the back, got into a high-speed chase, and all of a sudden crashed the car and then dipped off with the baby in the back? People have no regard for human life. All they care about is their own human selfishness. I told you, extreme crimes need extreme penalties. I'm an advocate of that. I push. Motherfuckers doing stupid shit, get them out of here. Either exile, take their uh, citizenship, and send them to islands. It's crazy how, how, how nowadays it's nothing to take human life or just do something to somebody that wasn't bothering you or do something to somebody you know you don't want uh, done to you. These same type of people that commit these crimes, ladies and gentlemen, are the same people that get mad when somebody does something to them and they go over the top. Getting loud and, and making all kind of movement to let everybody else know that they've been wrong all the while or wronging other people on the daily. That's not normal human behavior. It's a lot of inhumane motherfuckers out here need to be taken out of here. Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. This girl right here, Alexi, Alexa Stakely, she was a speech, some type of speech therapist. It's not a lot of people. That's a unique job. It's not a lot of people that want to give a lot of themselves to help others in that capacity. I don't know how much that job pays, but it's a passion she had. And that was taken from her and a lot of other people that could have used her in that profession. All because some selfish asshole wanted to come up and take a car and really didn't want it because she's seen it. When she fell off, he got out of it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.